Assalamu alaikum guys, uh, my name is Muhammad Yunus and I'm Odo Technical Developer. If you haven't subscribed our channel, please go and uh, click the subscribe button to subscribe our channel. This really means a lot for us. Uh, in this video, we are going to talk about uh, how we can add many to one, many to many field uh, in Odo. And what is the purpose of many to many field? So many to many is a bi-directional multiple relationship so uh, it is a relationship between two tables and uh, in this case uh, bo both tables can have multiple uh, relation with each other like a record from one side can uh, be related to a number of records on the other side means a record mm -hmm. in one table can be related to multiple records uh, in the other table so we have as a container of records container of record means uh, it this, this many to many field can contain multiple records as well as a single record accessing it also results in a possibly empty sets of records so it can be empty also so uh, as uh, we know that it is a multiple relationship so while accessing each record we uh, need to use for loop uh, to access it so let me just uh, open up in the detail or uh, click on this right click this one and then open the link here so i have already uh, open it here so many to one many to many field the value of such a field is a record set so it uh, uh, on this basis we can call the methods and all its properties so what are the parameters that are needed for many to many Co-model, co-model is a mandatory uh, and it uh, is the target model mandatory except in case of related or extended fields. Uh, so you need, you must uh, need to add the co-model, the uh, target model. So relation, relation is the table name where the relation uh, values will be stored. So column uh, one. Uh, optional name of the column referring these records in the table so this is uh, this uh, the name of this uh, we need to add uh, two columns like one will save the value of this uh, table and the other uh, column will save the value of the other table so column one will be the uh, name of the first table value and the column two is the value of the second column a second table value so the attributes uh, relation column one and column two are optional these three are optional and uh, if you don't add these then it will be added automatically if not giving names uh, are automatically generated from models providing uh, it will be generated on the basis of the model uh, and the co-model so you can just read these uh, details uh, in here so let me just add uh, here in our uh, model session model so what we needed we want to show the least of uh, participants uh, in this session so which who uh, participate in this uh, session we want to show it here so what we can do we a part a single participant can be uh, linked can be related to multiple sessions so for this purpose we cannot use many to one field not we can use one to many because one to many is a relation in which from one side it is a one record and from the other side it is multiple records so in this case we need multiple records from both sides so we will use many to many record many to many uh, field so what we will do if you scroll down you can see the um, format of the many to many so we just copy it from here and then here so what we are going to do we will just add this field here what is the format uh, attendee ids is equal to fields dot many to many here is the co-model the target model and here is the string these are the mandatory attributes the string is not a mandatory but we need to add it and the rest will be added automatically so let me just add it in the xml file uh, for example, it, I've added it. What is the format for this XML label for attendee IDs? Attendee ID is the field name. So, for what uh, we have to add the label, uh, which is uh, attendee IDs, and field name is um, attendee IDs. So, let me just uh, restart the server and then upgrade it. 
so go to apps click on the apps and then search for the module and then click the upgrade button to upgrade the module so after the module upgrade uh, we will be able to see the change uh, that we have added which is many to many field so here it is we have uh, let me just remove this uh, already added. so let me just uh, see that we have added many to many field so let me just add these two people these all are the participant in this case so let me just save it so i can see and i can also add uh, other fields uh, from here like this one. so and uh, another way uh, so in this case uh, this uh, azure interior is uh, linked with this one and it can also be linked uh, with the other uh, record also so this is the benefit of many to many field so this is one way to add it another way is to add like uh, if you want to show we if you don't want to show all this information and just want to see the name then we can also add it like a tag so what is the um, way to add it uh, we need to add uh, use a widget for this purpose a widget name is uh, many to many tags and we need to add it inside the group field name is equal to attendee ids and widget is equal to many to many tags there are multiple widget widgets which we uh, will discuss uh, in the upcoming videos but for um, time being we are going to just add this one and discuss this one so let me just upgrade the module to see the change uh, of the widget that we have added this is only for the purpose if you want to just show the uh, name of the record and we don't want to cover up more space so this is it it has been added and uh, uh, we can just want to show it like takes and we can remove it from here also so like this one and save it so there are two ways to edit and uh, you can you have the choice whatever requirements do you have you can add accordingly so thank you guys for watching this video please uh, like uh, this video and subscribe our youtube channel